everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! Since motion involves a change in position, marami tayong tanong tungkol dito. Halimbawa, where is it? How fast is it traveling? Where is it going? Is it slowing down or speeding up? Is it moving steadily? And is there any change in direction? Today, our Shensh Amazing episode will be all about speed and velocity. Speed is a measure of how fast or slow an object travels. Mas malaki ang value ng speed kung mas malawak ang distance na covered ng isang object. For example, we have a car traveling 80 kilometers in one hour. On the other hand, we have an airplane traveling 800 kilometers in one hour. We know that the airplane traveled faster. In most vehicles, it is unlikely na ma-maintain nila ang kanilang constant speed over time. So in this case, we will be using the term average speed. To find the average speed of an object, we simply divide the total distance over the elapsed time. Take note of the word distance. We can also write it this way, S equals D over T. Before we proceed to velocity, here are some key terms. Speed is the rate at which distance is covered over time. And average speed is the rate at which total distance varies with the total time taken. Kung napapansin ninyo, we have been encountering the word distance in our discussion about speed. It is because speed and distance are both scalar quantities. They only have magnitude and no direction. Aside from average speed, we also need to be familiar with another type of speed which changes or fluctuates from one instant to another, just like what is seen in our speedometers when we drive. This is called the instantaneous speed, or the speed at an instant or a point on the path. This speed varies quickly depende sa kung gaano kabilis kang nagmamaneho ng iyong sasakyan. Now, let's proceed to velocity. It is simply the speed of an object with direction. We can find the average velocity by dividing displacement over elapsed time. Kanina sa speed, we used distance. And now, we will be using the displacement, which is a vector quantity. Because of this, velocity is also a vector quantity. We can also write it this way. Average velocity equals displacement over time. Halimbawa, Let's find the average velocity of this green car. To find the average velocity, we simply use the formula average velocity equals displacement over time. Paano nga ulit hahanapin ang displacement? It is simply the difference between the final point and the initial point, or 80 minus 0, making the displacement 80 kilometers. And the time is 120 minutes or 2 hours. We have 80 kilometers divided by 2 hours, which results to 40 kilometers per hour. Since we are looking for the average velocity, we need both the magnitude and direction. Meron na tayong magnitude, but we still need to find the direction. Saan ba papunta yung car? It is to the east. The complete answer would be 40 kilometers per hour to the east. Before we proceed, here are the key terms that you need to take note. Velocity is the speed of an object in a particular direction. 
average velocity is the distance traveled in a particular direction per unit time. Take note, velocity involves distance with direction or displacement. If we have instantaneous speed, meron ding instantaneous velocity. It refers to how fast or slow an object is at a given instant and in what direction. You can estimate it by looking at your speedometer and using a compass. To complete our discussion about speed and velocity, let's answer a sample problem. It took 2.50 hours for a car to travel a distance of 150 kilometers. What is its average speed? Ang inahanap natin dito ay average speed. And from the given problem, which has a formula S equals D over T, we simply substitute D, which is 150 kilometers, and T, or time, which is 2.50 hours. Then we divide, resulting to 60 kilometers per hour. Since average speed lang ang inahanap natin, there's no need to us to find the direction. The magnitude is enough. The magnitude 60 km per hour is our final answer. Before we have a quiz, let's have a quick recap first. Our Shensh Amazing episode was all about speed and velocity. We discussed about the concepts of speed and velocity, the formula for average speed and average velocity, the concepts of instantaneous speed and instantaneous velocity, and we answered a sample problem. To check kung meron ba kayo natutunan, we will be answering a short quiz.
Time's up. Let's check if your answers are correct. Eren drives his cart with an average velocity of 45 kilometers per hour along Trust District. How long will it take him to drive 350 kilometers on a straight road? In this problem, we are looking for how long or the time. And we can see that the given values are 45 kilometers per hour, which is the average velocity, and 350 kilometers which is the displacement, to find the formula for time, we need to use the formula in finding the average velocity and then derive the formula for time. The formula is T equals displacement over average velocity. Since we already have the formula, we simply substitute the values. What is the displacement? The displacement is 350 kilometers. Then the velocity is 45 kilometers per hour. We cancel out the common units and we are left with 7.78 hours. This is the final answer. Number 2. A tourist bus moves at an average velocity of 60 kilometers per hour for 0 0.500 hours. What is the total displacement of the bus? In number 2, hinahanap natin ang total displacement. And given sa ating problem, ang 60 km per hour which is the average velocity and 0 0.500 which is the time. To find the displacement, we need to use the formula in finding the average velocity which is average velocity equals displacement over t. Upon deriving, the formula is displacement equals average velocity times t. Then we simply substitute the values. Average velocity is 60 km per hour multiplied by 0 0.500 hours. Then we cancel out the common units and we are left with the total displacement which is 30 km. We want to know your score over 2. Please comment it down in the comment section below. That ends our Shansha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!